All things are full of weariness. A man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. Good Sunday morning. Solomon's thesis here is, everything wearies me. He's observed that there's an inherent busyness in everything he does. In fact, it's so widespread that no one can possibly describe all of life's weariness. He's got two proofs of this. First, the human desire is never satisfied. The eye never has enough of seeing. <laughs> Diane and I have never spent this much time seeing the world. Three weeks. We're here beginning our third week and we find that we have to make decisions regarding what we're going to see. I found myself thinking, oh, I wish we had time to see that. My eyes, they're never tired of seeing. I long to see other places. The eye is never satisfied, nor is the ear ever satisfied with hearing. We're always alert to some new idea, some new product that we've heard about. That's why news programs remain popular. Television, radio, and social media all cater to the ear's hunger to hear something. Some juicy gossip about a star, it's always going to sell. Some new way of making a profit, it's always going to make its appeal. The preacher's argument is that the ear never tires because the human desire is never satisfied. It's a consequence of the restlessness that's built into living. But second, he says that even though we long to see and hear something new, nothing new really ever shows up. Life's a rehash of what happened before. It's the old played over and over and over again. This too is a result of the restlessness that's built into life. Although something looks new to us, actually there's nothing new under the sun. So the question is raised. Is this all life is about? Is it merely an empty pursuit of that which never satisfies? Can no breakthrough be made whereby something can be found that will continually meet the hunger of the human heart to give an unending sense of delight, satisfaction, and joy? That, my friend, is the search. Lord, my heart is restless till it finds its rest in you. Thank you that in you all things are made new, new or old. What I see and hear today remind me that your steadfast love, it never ceases. Your mercies, they never come to an end. They're new every single morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord, my Redeemer. Jesus, I love and praise you and pray in your name. Amen. God bless you. It's Sunday morning. Thank you.